Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. In today's video we are going to be going over the Too Faced Christmas Cookie House Party. This is a new set for the holiday season and I'm going to be using almost entirely this set to make this look today, plus a couple drugstore items, plus some hair. This video is not at all the first time I've been using this. I like to use products for several weeks before I review them. So what we'll do in today's video is I'll start off by showing you this look and then we will regroup for some final thoughts, pros and cons, and whether this set is worth it. So I'm gonna start with the cream filling shade just to, just over the shadow insurance that I've laid down in my crease. And I'm gonna use my Ulta blending shadow brush because I will always and forever swear by this brush. I'm jumping over to the tiny palette and using that lightest shade in there. I found it to be a perfect transition shade on my NC20 skin. I'm gonna use the shade Ginger Bells and kind of work that into my crease. This is my Rorschach headband, by the way. What do you think it is, hmm? You see devil horns or cat ears, and what does it say about you? I'm gonna switch to the shade Nooks and Cranberries and build up the outer corner with it using the Dose of Colors brush. You guys that got this in BoxyCharm, keep this brush out. It's one of the best brushes I've ever tried. It's one of those precision brushes that is just so nice to have in your collection. So I just put down some NYX glitter glue. If you're not feeling the commitment to glitter, you can do a very similar look to this with the shade I Love Yule. But if you are feeling glitter, then we're gonna do this snow pink shade today and I am going to pick it up with my finger. I think this is the best way to apply glitter. Uh, but I, I, I was really thinking about this recently. I was like, if you have long nails, I bet this sucks. So I did just jump ahead a little. I'm gonna try to keep the rest of this video drugstore just in case you are giving this to somebody who doesn't have a big collection or if you are receiving this to somebody without a big collection. So again, I used that NYX glitter glue. I also used the NYX Slide On Glide On Stay In Define Eyeliner in Pure White on my um, waterline. And then for my eyeliner, I used the Isadora Glossy Eyeliner. This was sent to me through Buzz Agent. However, y'all know glitter and eyeliner is a tough combination. So I'm actually gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and use the shade Hot and Coal and just kind of glide that over the eyeliner to kind of take the edge off of the, uh, the bumps of it. So I'm gonna save the mascara because I personally like to spray before I do mascara. Uh, so we're gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna do something really simple today because not to humble brag, but my skin has been looking better than it has for a long time. Don't feel jealous, I've had acne for years. So I'm gonna use this Unfoundation Glow Tint from Undone Beauty. This is the shade Latte Medium. One of you guys had asked if I would review this. Apparently it is $14 on Amazon. I got this as PR, I knew it was on the Octoly site. What you have to do with this is shake it and then actually apply it with your fingers. One of the things I don't like about it is it always spurts out like you just saw. Um, but for $14, it is a nice option uh, alternative to the Glossier. But I will say, you know, not everybody needs a ton of coverage. So I think that something like this is a great, is a great option. So to the person that asked me about this, yeah, it's actually really nice, really foolproof, just it's not gonna give you a bit of coverage. It's not, it's gonna give your skin a glow. I'm gonna use some of the Revlon Candid Photo Ready Powder. I'm actually almost out of this. Uh, I just wanna set this tint so that we'll be able to go in with the powders. We'll grab the bronzer first and attempt a little bit of bronzing. One thing I do really like about skin tints is that I don't feel like I need to contour with them. Like I feel like it just would be kind of overkill for something that looks so natural. So maybe this will come out looking okay. And then the blush is very cool tone. So we're gonna try it. We're, we're trying here. If you're curious about these brushes, they are from BH Cosmetics. I do feel like they're holding up well, but I, I also think they're fraying a little bit faster than my Real Techniques brushes. I do like the unique shapes of them. I don't want to over blush today, so it's nice to have this tiny little kind of detail brush. I'm gonna use one of my best highlighter brushes in hopes of picking up some of this 
highlighter. You can see it's, it's probably not going to show up that well on me, and I have tried it. Uh, but we're, we're going to try again. I think it's showing up okay. It's just going to look like a more natural highlighter. But I'm going to be completely honest. I haven't found a highlighter brush that I really love that is from the drugstore. I just haven't. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Uh, drop any recommendations you have below, actually, because I'm always looking for cheaper alternatives. But my, my top two highlighting brushes are this one and Fenty's. I'm going to go back in under the eyes with the shade Nooks and Cranberries. And I think I want to have a little fun today, break the rules. Use this shade Cinemagic to blend it out. A super glittery under eye look and lid. What we'll do is we'll keep it kind of in the center, I think. We'll spray with the Pixie Rose Glow Mist. I'm gonna use my full size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but I'll tell you guys honestly, honestly the mini of this is actually better. So basically I'm saving mine for when I need it. We'll just kind of get through the awkwardness of this. I recently opened it, so it's still a little bit hard to work with. I feel like that's the thing. I feel like the full size of this has an awkward break in time while the minis don't. Does anyone else know what I'm talking about? Time for one of my favorite parts of this look. We're gonna do the Melted Matte in Gingerbread Man. You guys, this color, ugh, is so stunning. So I'm also gonna be unboxing something I received from the Irresistible Me brand. This is a set of hair extensions especially made for fine hair, which your girl has. So in this set you're getting, it looks like the main part here. This is, I'll, I'll put the details of this on the screen because I don't remember them offhand, but I do know that these are the finer silicone clips, so they are meant to blend better into their hair which is really important if you have fine hair. So I'm gonna start with one of the pieces that has two clips and I'm gonna be putting that at the very base. So this is gonna be where I place the biggest section, the four piece section right up behind my ears. So I've just been continuing to add. I wanted to show you the little side clips. I feel like this is a good way to show you how much attention to detail there is here. If you do have fine hair, this is gonna cover these clips. Fine hair problems, y'all. Anyone else feel me? I kind of love it. The color match is perfect. These are actually surprisingly comfortable. I don't wear extensions a lot because I feel like they're a lot of trouble for something that doesn't always look that good in fine hair and something that feels heavy, but these actually don't. And this is long. Let me see if you can see how long it is, you see? Do you like my top, by the way? Almost everything I'm wearing is from AliExpress, clips included. And by the way, since this is human hair, you can use any kind of heat tools on it. I'm just kind of digging it exactly as it is right now because, you know, I lived through the Britney era, so I feel like this kind of look is just like, I like it. It's super straight, but uh, there was a time where that was the best. There is a code, by the way, I almost forgot to mention that, not my code, I don't have any kind of affiliation links with this brand, but yeah, these are kind of really nice if you have fine hair such as my own. I'll put that code in the description box below. Let's go ahead and do a final wrap up of my thoughts on the Too Faced Christmas Cookie Party set. Let's do this from a pros and cons perspective because I want you to be able to decide if this is something good for you or something good to purchase for a friend. I think the biggest pro to me about this kit is both that it's very complete. You know, the extras in it makes sense. They're not just extras that I feel like are thrown in. The lipstick is incredible. The size is gonna last you a long time. Better Than Sex is a great mascara and the mini is better. And the shadow insurance is a perfect touch for something like this where you're gonna want a primer. To throw you right back a con though, I do think it's not quite the level of working with a Too Faced eyeshadow in a, you know, in a, one of their more permanent formulas. It's not quite like working with a chocolate bar palette, but it is absolutely a step up from every other holiday set that I've tried, not just from Too Faced. I think, I genuinely think from every brand that I've tried, which means I've actually got to say it's quite a pro that these are so beautiful and easy to work with. I'll show you a couple quick swatches. 
right here. So you can see that they are quite pigmented and I'll put up some more swatches. All of them do swatch the same. With these shadows, you're getting that kind of full eyeshadow transfer. So you really do see these pick up on your skin. It's kind of this perfect middle ground between being you know, a little bit more on the powdery side, but not to the level of Anastasia where it's kind of hard to work with. So basically, I think these shadows are perfect for beginners or more advanced eyeshadow users alike. And honestly, I love the assembled look. This is something that I want to look at through the entire holiday season. So I guess in that aspect, I'm not sure it's the best gift because it's something you're going to want to look at all season long. So maybe it's one of those gifts if you're giving somebody something early in the month of December, something like that. It would kind of be perfect, but there's a con. This is not the most strong magnetic hold, so you can't really prop it up like this. You will drop this a lot, trust me. <laughs> So I basically love both of the eyeshadow palettes. I'm just not that big of a fan of the face palette in general. I think the bronzer is a little warm. I think the blush is a little cool, which is a strange blend. And I think the highlighter is going to work only on one specific skin tone, probably more light medium. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think you can't really win with formulating a highlighter. You know, are you going to make it work on the most fair of skin tones or on medium or on deep skin tones. You, you kind of can't have the best. You can't have all three. In all fairness to the blush, I do think that would work on all skin tones, but I think it's going to flatter cooler skin tones the most. So maybe what they were going for here is just kind of trying to make something that appeals to most people. Uh, it, it also means that there's going to be some amount of people that just don't like anything in it, like me. <laughs> As far as the set being beginner friendly, I think that's that's really the whole reason I wanted to make this video because I do feel like it is. I feel like this is a great set for beginners. I've certainly purchased two faced eyeshadow palettes uh, Christmas set. I can't remember which one exactly, but I purchased some kind of a two faced holiday set for a friend who loved my makeup and I went and asked her how it was, you know, several months later. I was like, how's using it? And she's like, well, there's not really a lot of color to it. I was so mad. I was so mad at Too Faced. I'm like, they didn't give you pigmented eyeshadows. I bought that set and they didn't give you pigmented eyeshadows. Whereas with this set, the pigmentation is there. The ease of blending is there. I even made a look uh, with just three eyeshadows just to kind of see, you know, how, how beginner friendly is this. I'll go ahead and put up a couple clips of that. That was just a more neutral kind of everyday, simple eyeshadow look. And I do feel like it came out really nice. So, you know, whether you're trying to, whether this is the only set you have, you could make a, a look that is perfect for every day or you could glam it up like I did today. Which means ultimately my biggest gripe with this whole set is that I hate the inflated value. So we're gonna do a little bit of math really quickly. I saved this till the end because I know not everybody likes math. But I do, so they are claiming this set is $58 with a $353 value. So you're getting the full travel size of the Better Than Sex Mascara. This has a $13 value. The Mini Gingerbread Man has a value of $9. It is slightly less than half of the full size. And then you're getting a mini of the uh, eye primer, the Shadow Insurance. This one is half of the full size, so this has an $11 value bringing you to $33 in the other items, which is kind of really nice if you think about it. That means it's $25 for the other three palettes. My gripe here is that they're saying those three palettes would be worth $320. That's what it would have to be to add up to $353. Too Faced, nobody would pay $320 for these. Nobody. It's 2019. Nobody would do that. So to sum it all up, if you can look past the fact that Too Faced has inflated the price values a little, I really do think this is a great set for all levels of makeup lovers. I think $58 is a very fair price tag on this given that you're getting $33 worth of extras. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a like. Make sure you have hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all next time.